What's going on everybody? Krauser here, Zero here, and I'm going to be showing you my current collection of Limerick game games and some other titles or collector's editions that I got over the years that I'm able to display. Now we're going to start at the top here. We got Valkyria Chronicles 4, Premium Battle, Battle Premium Edition, which has a nice tank inside of it. We got something in here that's actually not a game, but Limerick game had a hand in it. They... Ottawa Origins book. I just actually got that in today. It's fantastic. I love that dust cover jacket right there. It's amazing. We've got a Destiny 2 collection limited edition. Limited Games first Switch release collector's edition right there, folks. You know, Thimbleweed Park, their first release for Switch. Nurse Love Addiction collector's box. Wonder Boy the Dragon Strap collector's edition with password save. And... We're going to look at this one more in depth a little bit sooner. But let's go right down here over to our Windjammers Collector's Edition and the Fire Emblem three, uh, three Houses here. And then we're going to skim right down over here. The House of Fata Morgana CE for PS4. We got Tokyo's Energy Limited Edition for the PS4 as well. Just came in earlier. Actually, I want to say Monday, Luminous Avenger LE. Brought this is the NA version of it. Blaze Blue Car Phantasma. Oh, sorry, Central Fiction, limited edition, and the PS4 Night Traps uh, CE. And hidden behind Luminous Avenger, we have the Rockman Five and One Special Edition box from Japan for Switch. Um. It has a spot open for the Mega Man Zero ZX collection. But without further ado, let's go on to our normal litany of Limerick games. So we're going to actually go all the way right here to Demo. Now Demo was my first actual title I got from Limerick games. You know, it was something I bought, I wanted to say on a whim, but I wanted to see how the system worked from LRG. It's going to probably be a pain for me to put that back in. So we'll deal with that later. And the, only re the main reason why I started collecting from that point is because of East Origins. Like you saw in that box up there, this actually was from the box you saw earlier for limited edition. I'm actually huge fans of East. If you want to say YS, it's perfectly fine. People say it either the way. No way's wrong to me. If you could argue about it, why? But yeah, so that was the main reason I started getting Limited Games games because of East Origins. So I started with Demo, and I was very selective with the games I bought. You know, I got Bard's Gold, Darius Burst, Ocean Horn, Plague Road, and I got to As Divine and the, the CE of East Origins. But I did get some PS4 games and stuff like that along the way. I actually got the Night Trap. Just in case I missed out on East Origins C to trade. But, you know, didn't happen. But now what you can see here is it's kind of stuck in the corner. This is the beginning of my collection, so it's number two, obviously, because Bridge and Clear was the first one, which I do not own. But if we go all the way right to Middle Slug 3. Um, almost a complete collection of Limerick Games Vita collection. Now, I yes, I'm going for it. But I the main reason I actually started collecting games, and not just Limerick Game games, was due to the fact of East Origins. I got it, and then something just clicked in me to um, just actually value physical games more. And so I actually have retail games still. I used to trade them in way before. I ran it. I started collecting for Limerick Games, and obviously those are in another spot because that's too much shelf space I do not have. But yeah, that is the Vita collection. You're gonna notice my uh, PS4 collection down here is uh, not as widely variety, uh, bigger. And there's actually some PS3 games, two of the same game, but one's standard, one's the CE, which was the Od Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty. But yeah, the PS4 games, I'm very particular in which ones I get. So if, it, if it's something I'm like, oh, they finally made physical, I'm going to get it. 
Now, as for the switch, obviously that has not reached its full potential at all. And obviously, I probably don't have certain games that other people people do because some people will buy their games one like when it releases in or individual orders. I usually try to combine, same on shipping. But yeah, so right now this is the current thumb, uh, thumbweed park is over in the corner. We got another game in the corner over there, obviously with the book in kind of thingies. And then we got the end point so far here for Switch. Now. If you had to ask me what my favorite releases for each system would be from Lunar Games so far, and that Vita is kind of easy to narrow that. It's kind of easier since there's only two other games and nothing against them, but those two would probably not be my like, like top game. But for me, when it comes to Vita, it's literally actually to come to East Origins, and yeah, I'm making sound effects. <laughs> uh, Demo. It's gonna come between those two. Cause ironically, I actually did start getting to rhythm games. I want to say roughly around the same time. Uh, you know the Hot City Muku games. I got stuck with the playing the demo at when I worked at GameStop when they had it on PS4. And I'm like, you know, I might as well pick it up for Vita. I did, and that started the whole rhythm addiction I had for a time. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but those two would be the standout games for me for the Vita, East Origins, and Demo. Now, if we're going to go to the PS4, which we are, that obviously is going to be a little bit tougher for me. Because, you know, there's a lot of different games in here. Wide variety. But, you know, obviously this is going to sound redundant. Let me show you what I have over here. But, we're going to give it to Ace Origins again. It's because I love that series, so, you know, Ace Origins is right here for the PS4, folks. But yeah, we're going to give it to that game. You may complain, like, oh, it's just the same game, but different format, but... Now stand that game. Now for the switch. Way tougher. Vuvoyati. <laughs> because I've played a f I've gone into a fair amount of these, you know, played them. More than probably the PS4 <laughs> the Vita games I have. But, you know, it's always hard to pick a favorite. Now again, favorites can change, you know, likenesses can change of like what you want and stuff like that. But, obviously, I'm going to pull it out, and it is going to be a game I have actually played. And so far, what could I actually go with? Iconoclasts. Now, yes, like I said, I made sure I've actually played the game to warn it to be a favorite. No, if you ask, have I beaten it yet? No. <laughs> Backlog's huge, and it's being a streamer. You know, I, I, I touch my I touch on, on my games. And, you know, try to see if I can get to them in my off time and stuff like that. But, yeah, I enjoy Iconoclasts a lot. It's a fun game. So that is currently my favorite for the Switch. It could change over time. Everyone's tastes change. Just like your taste buds, people. If you liked one thing when you are a little kid, you may not like it again when you're older. <laughs> but, yeah. I tried that for you. And, yeah. So that is currently the collection of Lemur Games stuff I own. You know, let's give you the Vita again. Hang on down here. But yeah, folks, that pretty much wraps it up here. Um, again, my normal retail game stuff I got from, like, they're not limited. Except so for that, most of them are going to be somewhere else because I'm trying to keep my shelf space more prioritized. And stuff like that. Like, I probably have more boxes I could put, but they'd be stuck behind them, <laughs> these things. I I wish I had more shelves for this unit, because, like, where that stuff is, you know. But anyways, folks, that is my current collection of Lemur Games right now. Uh, obviously, the Vita's time for from the Lemur Games is almost at its end, sadly. The Switch, however, has taken over its place to me. PS4 is probably going to be steady for a good while still. 
until, you know, the PS5 is, you know, there and strong about it. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me, folks. And if you saw any fun game you think I should stream in out of this whole litany of stuff, or, you know, you know, see a game in here that you enjoy as well, let me know in a comment below.